So the focus of this research was to try to understand what genetic variation influences how much people like foods and which foods we like. To do this, we asked a lot of people, more than 160,000 people, what they like to eat and to rate a large amount of foods from one to nine. We use this data to both map the genes which affect them, but also to create a very extensive map of food liking. And what we found is that foods do not cluster like we expect, so they do not divide between sweet and savory, but we have three main big categories. One is uh, the calorie dense foods, so sweets, meat, hamburgers, anything that's fatty. Then we have another category, which is low caloric food, like fruit and salad. And then finally, a big category, which is foods we learn to like, which is like alcohol, spices, and strong tasting vegetables like bell peppers. Uh, what we found is that the genes which affect these two categories are completely separated, or mostly separated. But the other important finding is that we found very few taste and olfactory receptors, which means that food liking is not just how much we perceive the taste, but it's what happens in your brain after this taste is perceived, and how much pleasure you're getting from it. And this is important because once we understand the biology we, and we understand the process behind it, we could help people lose weight without having to feel the same pain, right? So we could think of devising products which are, have the same amount of pleasure but have less calories. Or in the most extreme cases, we could even imagine having medications to help people and extreme obese people lose weight uh, and have an healthier life. But this is just the first step and many studies will need to be carried out to disentangle our results. Um, certainly we need to look at children and that's one of the objectives you know, we're trying to uh, try to do here at HT to understand how food liking develops through childhood and how then it becomes you know, your final food liking when you're an adult.